Hey guys, Colorado Camper Man Brian here. So in today's video, I am going to be inspecting and doing a diagnostics on my mother-in-law's solar panel setup. So a couple months ago, I posted a video on this installation. Uh, it's of a Windy Nation 100 watt um, solar panel that I put on the top of their camper. And while I just posted the video two months ago, I actually did the install on that two years ago when I was on my YouTube hiatus. So um, since I installed it, honestly, it really has not performed well at all. It's rated to bring in over five amps. And right now we're bringing in 0.9 amps. And it has really honestly never done well. And my mother-in-law, we just got them set up with one of the Renogy gel batteries that I also did a review on. And now that they have that beast of a battery, we really got to figure out what's going on with this solar panel uh, because uh, bringing in 0.9 amps is never going to charge that huge battery back up. So in today's video, I'm going to do a little bit of diagnosis and see if we can figure out what the issue is with their solar panel setup. So we're over here at the charge controller and as you can see, we're only bringing in 0.9 amps. It is June 12th, uh, about 1 p.m. So we're at the summer, almost at the summer solstice, and we're only bringing in 0.9 amps. And this is literally probably the best time of day to bring, bring in solar. We should be bringing in a lot more than 0.9 amps. So just showing you guys here, we actually have our Renogy briefcase uh, solar panel charging. It's 100 watt as well, and we're bringing in 5.4 amps. That's a lot more what the rooftop panel should be doing. Now this one is tilted towards the sun, but we should be bringing in a lot more than 0.9 amps for that rooftop. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go directly to the panel. I'm gonna do a current test to see what we're bringing in just from the panel. So I have my voltmeter and the connectors I'm gonna take off, but unfortunately they're under this, this uh, roof panel for the refrigerator. So I'm gonna take this off to be able to access the wires. All right, so now we got our multimeter out. We got the, with the roof panel off here, the refrigerator panel off. Now we're gonna hook this thing up. It's uh, about two o'clock on June 12th. Literally one of the best times of the year for solar. And this says we're bringing in 4.72 amps. So there's definitely a problem further on down the line because it seems that this panel is working just fine. All right, so I'm following my wires from the solar panel down to a charge controller. If I plug my multimeter in where they plug in, I read 4.8 amps coming in to the charge controller still. However, my charge controller is only sending 0.9 amps to the battery. So what I'm going to do next is follow the wires that go down to the battery because uh, those are, are connected in my converter box. And I'm going to see what the current reads on those and see if it's 0.9 amps or if it's a 4.8 amps. And that should tell me if it's a problem with the charge controller or if it's something with my wires or something further down the line. All right, so I'm down here at the panel now, and I unhooked my wires originally because I thought maybe had a bad connection. Plugged them back in, tightened them up, and we're still bringing in the same amount of amps. So um, I was definitely a little confused on what was going on, so I called Windy Nation's tech support, and they were very helpful. So uh, the, I told the guy what my issues were. He kind of walked me through some troubleshooting, and he thinks... Uh, there's a really good chance that one of my diodes on the back of the solar panel is bad. So he gave me his email address. I'm going to send him my address, and he's going to mail me the diodes uh, for free, which is awesome. So um, uh, so that's, I guess, just kind of walk you guys through troubleshooting, you know, starting at the source, working your way down. I guess you can kind of, if you have problems like I did, kind of follow what I did. And then if you can't figure it out, just call tech support because <laughs> they can probably help you. 
Um, the thing that he helped uh, me determine what the problem was is we actually were checking the voltage instead of the amperage. Uh, so I was bringing, I was checking all the amps that were coming and everything, but I was not checking the voltage. And my panel was bringing in half the voltage that it should have been. And so that was the sign that he thought that more than likely he's like, it's a 99% chance that one of the diodes is bad. So, um, yeah. So anyways, thank you guys for tuning into this video here. And, um, yeah, there's going to be some videos coming up, uh, for sure. Going to be doing uh, a lot more posts in here going on some camping trips and doing some repairs and stuff to the campers. So stay tuned for that. But thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.